Neuralink, Elon Musk's entire brain chip presentation in 14 minutes. Right. What you're seeing here carrying are real time signals. I already mean, talked about this before, Neuralink but in Gertrude's head. This is new. So, this Neuralink connects to neurons that are uh, in her snout. So, whenever she snuffles around and touches something with her snout, uh, that sends out uh, neural spikes, which are detected here. All right, welcome to the Neuralink product demo. I'm really excited to show you what we've got. I think it's gonna blow your mind. Um, so I wanna emphasize the, the purpose of Neuralink. Like, uh, what do we, what's our goal? Our goal is to solve important spine and brain problems with a seamlessly, seamlessly implant, implanted device. So you wanna have a device that you can basically uh, put in your head um, and feel and look totally normal. I got spine um, problems. It solves, uh, I'm, I'm listening. An important problem. Um, in your brain or spine. So uh, going into the Neuralink architecture, uh, what we've done over the past year is dramatically simplify the device. So we, 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 about a year ago, we had a device which uh, had uh, uh, m multiple parts, including a piece that it had to sort of sit behind your ear. Um, and it was, it, was, it was complex, and you, and you wouldn't still look totally normal. You'd have a thing behind your ear. So. Um, We've simplified this to simply something that is uh, about this guy asks the size more of a large than me. Coin. Um, and it, it goes uh, in your skull, replaces a piece of skull, um, and the wires uh, uh, then, then connect uh, within a few centimeters or about an inch away from the device. Um, and this is sort of what it looks like. It does. This is that little device. Uh, it does, that, that thing at the bottom is just to hold the threads in place because they're just like little fine wire wires. Um, I mean, fr frankly, to, to sort of simplify this, uh, what, what we're, <laughs> I mean, Welcome it's more complicated than this, but it's, in a lot of ways, it's kind of like a Fitbit in your skull with tiny wires. Uh, our current prototype version 0.9 has about a thousand channels. Uh, so that's you know, about a hundred times better than the the next best um, uh, consumer device that's available. And it's a 23 millimeters by eight millimeters. It actually uh, fits quite nicely in your skull. Your, your skull is- Fits quite nicely in your space. skull. So uh, it fits, it's, it goes flush with your skull. It's invisible and all you can see afterwards is a tiny scar. And it's under your hair, you can't see it at all. In fact, I could have a neural link right now and you wouldn't know. Anyway, so it's also inductively charged, so um, it's charged in the same way that you, char you charge a smartwatch or a phone. Um, and so you can use it all day, uh, charge it at night, and have full functionality. So you would really... Wait, um, it's a fucking magnet? Is that it? Would be, it would be you just put a magnet on your fucking skin? Uh, and uh, yeah, no wires. Uh, in terms of getting a link, so that, um, we, you need to have the device, uh, a great well, device, you and you also need to have a great robot that uh, puts in the... Uh, the electrodes and uh, does the surgery. So you want the surgery to be as, as automated uh, and, and as possible and the only way you can achieve the level of precision that's needed Welcome is with an advanced there. robot. Uh, the link procedure, the, the installation of a link done in under an hour. Um, so you can basically go in in the morning and leave- I would not trust that hour. robot. And it can be done without general anesthesia. Uh, before a human to put this so shit into my fucking robot. neck. <laughs> And we actually ultimately want this robot to do uh, essentially the entire surgery. Uh, so in, in everything from, from in, incision, uh, removing... Black the mirror skull, is close, the dude. Device, it's um, fucking close. Closing things up and having you ready to, to leave. So we want to have a fully automated system. So this, this shows you um, at sort of a close-up view, uh, which I think is actually not too gruesome, uh, of the electrodes being inserted in the brain. And if you look closely, you'll see that um, it's, a, it's a little counterintuitive that uh, if the electrodes are inserted very carefully, that there is no bleeding. Um, and so the, uh, w if you have very tiny electrodes and 
if they're inserted very carefully, yeah, human so can't the robot actually shit, images though. the brain and make sure to avoid any veins or arteries so that the electrodes can be inserted. Fucking Michael J. Fox. Damage. So you will have <laughs> no noticeable uh, neural damage uh, in inserting the link. So does it actually work? And uh, what I'm excited to show you, um, I call it like the, the Three Little Pigs demo. Um, and uh, if our uh, animal handlers bring, we're bringing out the, the pigs, and what we're going to show you is a, well, I'll walk right over and show you. So what we have in pen number one is Joyce, uh, and she does not have an implant. <laughs> Obviously healthy and happy. Um, <laughs> we're trying to get Gertrude out, and this is how you know it's Say alive. Say hi, everyone. So here's Dorothy, um, and in the case of Dorothy, um, Dorothy used to have an implant, and then we removed the implant. So this is uh, an imp a very important thing to uh, demonstrate, is reversibility. So if you, if you have a neural link, and then you decide you don't want it, or you want to get an upgrade, and the neural link is removed, um, is it removed in such a way that you are still healthy and happy afterwards? And what Dor Dorothy illustrates is that you can put in the neural link, remove it, and be healthy, happy, and indistinguishable from a normal pig. Oh, thanks, Dorothy. <laughs> Here we go. Great. OK. Great. <laughs> OK. This is a, a high-energy pig. Um, all right. Gertrude, thanks for coming out. Um, so what you're, the, the beeps you're hearing are real-time signals from the neural link in Gertrude's head. So this neural link connects to neurons that are uh, in her snout. So whenever she snuffles around and touches something with her snout, the, that sends out uh, neural spikes, which are detected here. Um, and so on the screen, um, you can see uh, each each of the the spikes from the thousand and twenty four electrodes. That's cool. And and then if you if she yeah if she snuffles around, touches this knot in the ground, or there's nothing food, artificial food, in her fucking um, nose. Then, uh, it's just the brain signal going from. Um, will fire much more than when you're not touching this knot. And uh, snout. That's what's making the, the beeping sound. Back right, and cool. forth. Over so there. as you can see, uh, we have a healthy and happy pig. Um, initially shy, but obviously high energy and, and uh, you know, kind of loving life. And uh, she's had the implant for two months. So this is a healthy and happy pig with an implant that is two, month old, two months old and working well. Yeah. All right, cool. This, this technology is um, extremely then, rushed. Um, it's like having a car in the 18th kind of century. Is so we said, well, what if we do two neural link implants? I mean, clearly uh, it's not. We've been able to since we don't have do a fucking time uh, machine. Dual neural link implants. Uh, clearly, in, it's uh, just right with exponential point, fucking growth of technology of and uh, science. And we've been able to show that you can actually have multiple what? neural links implanted. <laughs> it's um, not like there's a schedule. Ah, oh, this this is the time we get this neural link. Um, this is the so time we invent fucking and dark and matter. Here on Earth, this is the time we travel in right, time. So we just showed you a no. demonstration of uh, reading brain activity. It's and, not. Um, there's not a fixed schedule for this shit. See, probably see that. Um, as I was saying, uh, each of those dots represents a neural spike, and the, um, the the blue chart at the bottom is showing an accumulation of neural spikes in that region. The infrastructure isn't here what to mass support it yet. Yeah, nothing um, is ready to mass uh, support uh, with the first prototype. The, say, um, one of our pigs on a treadmill. Imagine the fucking the first computer. <laughs> um, it's funny, funny concept, really. Um, what the fuck we, are you talking about, Chad? We uh, take the, the readings from the neurons, and we try to predict the posi position of the joints. Um, and so we say we have the predicted position of the joints, and then we, we measure the actual position of the joints you can see that they're almost exactly aligned. So we're able with um, a wireless neural, imp neural implant to actually predict the position of, of all of the limbs uh, in the pig's body uh, with, with very high accuracy. Now in terms of, of writing to the brain or stim simulating neurons, uh, we also need... I mean, all I'm thinking about is 
starting the game development on striking vipers, right? Some some regions require delicate simulation, some require a lot of current, and and you want obviously no harm to the brain over time. Got a time to ride. Um, by the way, we analyzed the the stimulate stimulating neurons is with a two photon microscopy. I always have trouble pronouncing that microscopy, and. It's very impressive technology. You can actually literally see in real time uh, how the neurons are firing. So uh, the the red sort of to you, things are the neurons. Red red sort of flashing things are the neurons uh, firing. Oh, I should say the um, uh, the electrodes firing. So the red things are electrodes firing, and then the green are the neuron bodies responding to uh, the current from the electrodes. Thanks for the spyware. I don't see why people are so paranoid about private information. If the government is spying on literally every single one of you, it's not really spying, is it? So I want to be clear, we're working closely with the FDA um, and we'll, um, we'll be extremely rigorous. In fact, we will, um, we will significantly Significantly it's not really. It's not really more than safety. they have you Make fucking registered. As safe as possible. You know, with social so security numbers. First applications. If so every so single so one has it. Trial is aimed at uh, people with paraplegia or, or tetraplegia, uh, so cervical spinal cord injury. We're going to enroll. Uh, we plan to enroll a small number of patients uh, to make sure the device. It's is just safe how it is. It works in that case. Uh, yeah. So actually, yeah. to elaborate on that. Um, if somebody is um, like a severe spinal cord injury, uh, you know, to the degree that they they even they have um, very limited control even uh, over their facial muscles, I think something that's very exciting as a long-term application is if you can if you can sense what somebody is trying to do with their limbs, what they want to do with their limbs, um, then you can actually uh, yeah, but uh, they can use this information to repress or extort you or or wherever. Just after wherever the spinal injury. You're saying that is they it, then they would have to repress and extort every single uh, so individual. Why will they target random Joe here in Twitch chat? Uh, possible to restore when there's a million millions of uh, random Joes. Twitter, will you be able to save and replay? Why the fuck would the government target you? Uh, yes, I think uh, in the future you will be able to save and re replay memories. Um, I mean, this is obviously sounding increasingly like a Black Mirror episode. Welcome um, to you, but, uh, <laughs> Well, I guess we're pretty good at predicting. Um, but yeah, essentially, if, if you have a whole brain interface, everything that's encoded in memory, you could uh, you could upload. You Welcome could basically you, store your memories um, as a backup and restore the memories. Um, and ultimately, you could potentially download them into a new body or into a robot body. The future is going to be weird. Uh, one common theme that's been coming up a lot on these Twitter questions coming in is that of availability. And so Welcome Matthias to has a specific question on this, which is any estimate of how much it will cost at launch and what price it will reduce to over time? This is going to be like VR on, on think, steroids. At, at launch, it's probably going to be in terms of launch. I, I would say that's not really for commercial use. Because um, at first, I think it's, it's going to be you know, quite expensive, but that price will very rapidly drop. Um, and I think over time, we want to get the, the cost um, obviously down as low as possible. Um, but I think um, I inclusive of the automated surgery, I think we want to get the, 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 the price down to a few thousand dollars, something like that. Um, and I, I think that's possible. I think it should be possible to get it similar to um, LASIK and, and then the uh, device oh. electronics itself, um, I think will, will not be very expensive. Um, well, because it actually does does use one of the parts that are made in extremely high Maybe volume, in tens of millions of, of units. Uh, for, yeah, uh, this might work for you. And, and smartwatches and war wearables in general. I mean, I'd buy it if it if it if it came with some use. The first prototype, if it came with some interesting use. Uh, I wouldn't be afraid of like them getting whatever information you know from it you can't afford it I mean whenever it comes out for the public that is the first 
release for the public, like the first VR headset. What if they can control your mind? Well, I wouldn't suffer because they're literally controlling my mind now, aren't they? What if they read your It's not thoughts? like, oh, we're gonna control his mind and let him know that we're controlling him and implement fear 24-7 just to fuck with him. Ah. No, <laughs> that's not how mind control would go. It would just be mind control. You don't, you don't know that you're mind control, right? That's the whole point. Welcome to Uganda. Already brainwashed. Ah, it's the future. It's the future, but it's not our future. To it's uh, many generations later, I think, before we see this thing running smoothly and properly and safely and yada 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 yada. Three dollars from XD. He says, imagine the content. You get a neural link and chat can donate to control you for Welcome 10 minutes, Pokemon. Yes. Uh, that, that would be a lot of content until one guy decides to go a little too far with this donation. Don't think, don't think that would be the use. Well, you'll be controlled, so you won't know. So, I think that the greatest use for this technology is that you would be able to Hold on, hold on, I need to talk random shit. It's not random shit. I call it donation, baby. It's my type of mind control, sir. I don't even need a neural link. <laughs> you mad? You should be mad. Exhausted penguin, thank you, man. It's not bad, commander.